It's 7.30, kind of a late start for me. Um, and I have a long day today. I have to do about 19 miles to put myself in position to have 13 on the last morning, 10 on the trail and an additional three on the access trail. So it's gonna be a long day. My pack's pretty light though. Maybe the trail will be kind. Last night I was at Kid Gore Shelter and I managed to watch a live stream of Dead & Company's final show of their summer tour, which I didn't get to see any of them um, live this summer, but that was really fun. I fell asleep a little bit on the second set after Drums in Space, and I woke up for the encore. But all in all, I can watch it again um, for 48 hours, I think I have it. But <laughs> how technology has changed to where we used to have nothing besides maybe a, a, a AM FM Walkman in my tent at night, and now I can watch a, a concert live in New York City from the Long Trail. So, uh, good and bad with technology. So, talk to you later. Here's the Glastonbury Mountain Fire Tower. I especially like how they have it guide off to these little trees up here. Doesn't really inspire me. And I'm going to hike on because my legs feel pretty good and I don't want to go up there. That says no more than four people up there at one time. I wasn't planning on getting water, but when you have a nice convenient source like this right on the trail, why not? I'll just drink a bunch and refill. So that was really cool. I, um, I just met a trail celebrity. Some of you probably have seen Hawk's videos before. Um, unbelievable hiker. Unbelievable what he's accomplished out here. Super nice guy too. And I just ran into him on the trail. I knew right away who he was. And I was like, can I get a selfie? Like a big dork. But uh, yeah, it was worth it, man. Talked to him for a few minutes and I don't like to hold Hawk up. <laughs> So anyway, that was fun. Oh, it's just been a blast out here this year. It really has. This trail is full of surprises. Probably got a few left for me before I get done here. Talk to you later. You see the flies? They're bugging me. After a very steep descent, I made it to the bottom and found this nice river down here. Woo! 
Man, I'm gonna have to take a break before climbing up the other side. That was rough. At least there's water here. Break time. I decided I'm gonna do dinner here before I climb up the hill. I needed a good long break and it'll be a little bit cooler in about an hour. Rock steps as far as the eye can see. Woo! That reminded me of the northern part of the Long Trail. Thanks, Long Trail. I love you too. Getting dark here in the woods, but I think I'm really close. It is 06 o'clock on my final day on the long trail. I have 10 miles to get to the southern terminus and three on a different trail down to the trailhead parking where I'm gonna meet Bookworm. Um, what else? Oh yeah, just to keep it interesting. Rain is in the forecast. Um, potential severe thunderstorms starting around nine o'clock. So it's gonna put me pretty close to beating the rain, but it'll probably work out where I get a little wet. But got a nice dry car waiting at the other end. So now I'll talk to you soon. Bookworm is a member of my extended family who hiked the AT a number of years ago. I can't even remember which year it was. Um, and then went out on, did a big chunk of the PCT the next year. And we were talking, we were texting when I was at Killington. I think we're basically the only hikers in the family. Uh, so I told him we got to stick together. But I like Bookworm. I hiked with him on the AT a little bit on his, when he was on his journey. And uh, we got along great. So he's been out to my house and met my family and everything, my wife and the kids were a few years younger back then but uh bookworm's great so if you see this bookworm thanks for hooking me up with this ride I think I might fill up my water bottle here. That looks like a good spot to get water.
starting to rain a little bit now. These beaver ponds are so pretty though. I walked the last few miles with another southbound hiker named the Woodsman, and he took this picture of me. He was the only other southbound hiker I walked with on the journey. Thanks, Woodsman. It was nice meeting you. Leaving the AT, going on the Pine Cobble Trail to the car, and to home. Here we go. It's actually pretty cool right here at the beginning. Or I wouldn't have even broke my camera out. It's still raining. It's not hard though. It made it cooler. So for that I am grateful. That's a nice trail marker. Ugh. I gotta put this camera away, guys. Slippery rocks. You get the idea. We got 2.1 to go. Definitely had a pretty good fire here. I wonder if it was a wildfire or perhaps prescribed because it's called pine cobble and they're probably trying to promote the pine in this area. A good way to do that is with prescribed fire, but I don't know for sure. That's my guess. I just like walking through old burns, to be honest with you. I like seeing how the forest responds. Big thanks to Bookworm for all he did to help me. I also want to thank Pinnacle Lodge for allowing me to leave my car on their property during my hike. 